country club more often. I haven't seen you on the golf course in ages. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. Mm -hmm. Alice has become quite the golfer since you last saw her play. Well, she must be. She was darn good then. Thank you, lover. Do you play, Joan? No, I don't. Brad's the golfer in the family. <laughs> and by the way, Joan, that was a wonderful dinner. You're certainly quite the cook. Well, thank you, Alice. If you'd like the recipe for those meatballs... Oh, say, I... Brad, I got a birdie on the fourth hole last Saturday. Her drive went about 200 yards off the tee. You see, uh... you take about four pounds of ground sirloin, and then you brown an onion with it. That I got a par five on the seventh. This par ball. five? Uh, no, you take a par snip. And you dice it up and... And you know how long that seventh hole is. Oh. Gosh, Alice sure makes great wood shots. I make great meatballs. You see what I do, Alice, is I take But you should see her with a niblick. You should see me with a shoshlick. Gosh, Alice, you must have gotten to be quite a golfer. Well, you'd be pretty darn good yourself, Brad, if you keep up with it. Well, of course you would. Why haven't you been out of the club? Well, for one thing, Alice, uh, I'm not a member. But you could be. I'm sure the admissions committee would vote you in. Well, Joni doesn't play, and I'd rather keep her company. Now, wait a minute, dear. I never said you shouldn't play golf if you wanted to. Well, of course you didn't, dear. But I'd just rather be with you. Are you sure? Well, sure I'm sure. How sure are you sure? Well, very sure. If you can't play golf, then I don't want to play golf. You're my wife, and when I have time off, I want to spend it with you. Are you sure? Well, I, I said I was sure. You sure didn't say you were sure like you were sure you were sure. Well, I'm sure. Sure. Otherwise, I'd uh, be out playing with Tom and Alice, wouldn't I? Oh, of course you would. And he's such a wonderful golfer. Say, Brad, I was in a foursome last week with old Charlie Anderson, and he said... Charlie Anderson? You mean Judge Anderson of the State Supreme Court? You call him Charlie? Well, when you play golf with a man, you can't help getting a little friendly. Isn't that right, dear? Of course. Well, anyway, Charlie said that there might be a vacated seat he'd recommend me for. Gosh, a member of the state Supreme Court. Gosh, wonderful. <laughs> Congratulations, Tom. Well, thanks, Brad. <laughs> oh, a great deal to this little golfer here, though. She sure makes some great shots. Yeah. <laughs> I make great meatballs. But I don't get around enough in the right places. But because of me, he doesn't get around enough in the right places. Go on, admit it. Admit what? That you don't get around enough in the right places when you wish I played golf like Alice does. Oh, Joni, that's not true. I don't care in the slightest. Well, come on, get some sleep. Good night. Why doesn't she play golf like Alice does? She could learn, couldn't she? Still, Joan's kind of clumsy. Still, I'm kind of clumsy. Go on, admit it. You're not clumsy. You know what to admit. Come on, let's forget about it, dear, and, and get, get some sleep. If I played golf, we'd probably be members of the club, and you'd be getting recommended for the state Supreme Court. It's all my fault. Joni. No, it's true. I'm a hindrance to you. Joan, get some sleep, huh? Good night. <laughs> I can't sleep. Well, I can. 
How can you sleep when I can't sleep? Why, marriage is supposed to be a perfect union, each in tune with the other's vibrations. Joni. I'm vibrating. How come you're not? Because you don't love me, that's why. Joni, I do love you. You don't love me. I don't play golf. You make wonderful meatballs, remember? Who cares about meatballs? I do. <laughs> Brad, you might just as well face the fact right here and now, you and I share a very serious problem. We do what? Me. <laughs> Julie, the only problem I have is getting some sleep. I... Now, good night, dear. I Brad, don't why don't you take up golf, and then we can join the club? I know how you love to play golf, darling, and then you won't have to worry Joey, about it. Joey, whoa, 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 dear, take it easy. What's the matter? Well, it takes time to learn golf. At least 12 weeks, a, a lesson a week. <laughs> Not for me, it won't. I'll take a condensed course. Huh? 12 lessons in one day. <laughs> All right, now, Mrs. Stevens, are you sure that you remember everything I've told you so far? Perfectly. Hmm? Then let's see that driving swing. Oh, I've been waiting. Yes. Nice loose swing now. Loose. <laughs> Loose, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's try it again, shall we? And this time we are going to keep our eye on the ball. We are going to keep the stiff left arm. We can bend the wrist a little bit, the stiff left arm. The club head comes back slowly and the weight comes on to the stiff right leg. Left leg dips, but we keep a stiff right leg. <laughs> of course. Where'd it go? How far'd I hit it? Was it a slice or was it straight? Mrs. Stevens. It felt like it went a mile. Mrs. Stevens. Oh, what a thrill to feel the smash of ball against club. Mrs. The Stevens. The whir of the ball in flight. Hmm? <laughs> well, at least it was straight. Uh, no slice or anything. You see, it, it's straight out from the tee. Mrs. Stevens. <laughs> You are on your ninth lesson now. Why, why don't you forget the whole thing and let me refund your money, huh? Oh, I'm no quitter. But I am! <laughs> Look, Mrs. Stevens, I have been teaching golf for 20 years. I have had good pupils, I've had bad pupils, but I can honestly say that in all that time, I have never had a pupil that it was impossible to teach. Well, that's good. Until today! <laughs> I mean that you will never be a golfer. Never, never, never. Oh, darn it, I, I'm so mad. I, I wanted to be a golfer so my husband could join the country club. Now he won't, because he doesn't want to leave me alone. Darn it, I'm so mad. I'm... Mrs. Stevens. <laughs> Mrs. D did you see what you did? Sorry. 350 yards down the middle. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens, I have never seen a woman hit a golf ball like that before. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong about you. Maybe you have got an aptitude for golf. Well, I'm game to try again. All right, I'll tee this ball up and let's see that same loose, easy, relaxed swing. Okay. The same thing, 350 yards down the middle. That same powerful swing. Step up to that ball now with the easy, relaxed swing, the loose hips. Bring the club head back slowly, the left arm straight. The weight onto the straight right leg. The left leg can dip a little. Ah, that's perfect. <laughs> Just chipping into Brad's hat now. It's very important that I learn to play this game, you know, because Brad's got to join that club. And I, well, I think you better sit over there, Mabel. You're kind of being up there. I'm about to chip it right in there. Now. I hope you make it. <laughs> Mabel, when a player is about to make a shot, you, you don't talk, dear. 
I know you don't understand anything about the game, but that's not golf etiquette. You'll find it right in there someplace. And book must not talk when the players. <laughs> Yes, here it is. <laughs> Mabel, uh, if you want to talk, I think you say four or something in there, but not until, dear. It, it's very distracting. you broke a record. As a matter of fact, I broke two of them. I uh, broke uh, the first movement of Beethoven's fifth and uh, the tail off the doggy in the window. <laughs> I was practicing golf in the living room, dear. That's where I made the hole in one. Joan, what I call about the admission committee from the country club is going to drop by the house tonight. Yes, they like to look over the prospective members. You see, the club is a very conservative, dignified group. Oh. As a matter of fact, they're very old-fashioned. They're very concerned with tradition and family. Well, I don't know about the tradition, darling, but I can certainly uh, prove that I come from a family. Now, you know Aunt Minnie alone. Uh, uh, Joan, Joan, dear, that's not what I meant. You see, a lot of the members come from very old families. It's too bad we haven't a couple of great-great-grandmothers who came over in the Mayflower knitted the first flag or something. Well, we don't, honey. Does that mean that we won't get in the club? Oh, no, dear. It's not that bad. I, I just wanted to let you know what kind of people they are so you'd know what to expect. Well, I'll do the best that I can, honey. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hiya, Joni. Hello, dear. I uh, rushed home to tell you that the committee will be here any minute, and uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, funny. <laughs> What's this? Tradition. Family background. See the spinning wheel here? Well, that belonged to my great-great-grandmother during the Revolutionary War. Oh, and this grandfather's clock was handed down to me from my great-great-great... Joni. Great... Joni. Great... Uh, Joni, will you stop? I only had one more grade to go. But, Joni, what is all this stuff? Well, honey, you told me that the committee was very impressed with family background. So I got out all these family heirlooms. Family heirlooms? Whose family? Well, I don't know. I, I just rented them from the antique store. <laughs> Joni, of all the crate. What is that? It's our family album. I rented a family, too. And, Brad, you never saw a crazier bunch of mixed-up kids in all your life. <laughs> Will I show you? Joni, of all the silly things, you can't go out and get a lot of old, phony family heirlooms and a phony old family and pass them off as your own. But, honey, I was only trying to do what you said about the committee, and, oh, my goodness, I'll bet my saltwater taffy is ready. Your what? Joan, what's this saltwater taffy all about? Positive proof that we're solid citizens. Huh? Look, honey, I found the recipe in back of that old family album. Uh, we're going to treat the committee to an old-fashioned taffy pull and tell them that the recipe goes back generations and generations in our family. Let's see, now I got it all cooked and ready. There's just one more thing. Oh, yes, a tablespoon of glycerin. <laughs> this is the stuff that makes it sticky, dear. <laughs> Oh, uh, dear, there's the committee, so, uh, hurry, will you, dear? You better check and make sure it's a tablespoon. <laughs> Lucky thing I checked, it's a teaspoon of glycerin. A teaspoon would have been too much. Oops. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, uh, oh dear, uh, this is my wife. This is uh, uh, Miss Montague, Mr. Anderson, Mr. and Mrs. Kenworthy. Dear, they're from the club. Well, how do you do? How do you do? Uh, look, uh, honey, I'll just put these in the uh, other room. Yes, you, uh... dear. Well, shall we sit down? Uh, Mr. Kenworthy, uh, perhaps you'd like to take that chair over there by our family heirloom spinning wheel? <laughs> and uh, if you sit here, please. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to see our uh, family album. Uh, Brad and I are very proud of our old family. Oh, I'd love to. Yes. <laughs> My, what a distinguished-looking military man this is. Oh, yes, uh, uh, that's Brad's Uncle Phineas. He was a great man in the Civil War. Won a lot of battles for the North. For the North? But he's wearing a Confederate uniform. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, of course he is. He was a spy. But I don't understand. He's wearing the uniform of a general. Well, he was a very high-ranking spy. As a matter of fact, he was the only four-star spy they ever had. Oh? Yes, I see. Well, we, uh, oh. Oh, Judge Stevens. Oh, yeah, we're just discussing your family album. Well, I, I think I'd better get some refreshments. I have some homemade tea and homemade cookies for you. Oh, and first, I have a big surprise. A oh, surprise? really? Yes. Mm. Don't go away. I'll get it. <laughs> she always is. It's taffy from a recipe that goes back generations and generations. We're going to have an old-fashioned taffy pull. Taffy pull? Oh, yes. I come from an old line of taffy pullers. Well, well Joe, don't you think we better try it some other time? I, I... Oh, no, uh, please. After Mrs. Stevens has gone to so much trouble. Why, it could be fun. <laughs> Besides, I hadn't been to a taffy pull since I was a little girl. Oh, well, no. then we'll certainly have one. Now, if you'll just take a piece there. Forgive us. It was uh, just one of those things. Oh, it's quite all right. N no, really. If you uh, want your clothes cleaned, I'll be very happy to pay f pay for it. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Well, you. Oh, must you leave? Well, uh, I managed to save seven clean pieces. Uh, won't you have some? No, thank you. 
Oh, but we went to so much trouble pulling the taffy and all, and I know it comes from a wonderful recipe. Won't you? <laughs> oh, very well. Thank you. I hope you won't hold this little incident uh, against us. <laughs> uh, well, uh, well, everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> and, uh, well, <laughs> you tell him, dear. What my husband is trying to say. <laughs> We're very correct, very proper, and, and honest. We're no gossips. Brad and I are two of the most closed-minded people. <laughs> no well, we're not going to do that. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, oh, very well. Let's come along now, folks. Please wait until after that. Please, that's the size of the recipe. It didn't work out, and I know it's not that. Wait till you hear the news we got admitted to the club. We did? Yes, and all because of you, you did it, lover. I did? Yes, Mr. Kenworthy was playing in a tournament, and you know his wife always talks and disturbs his games. Well, you know what happened? No, what? Well, her jaw was so tired from getting the taffy loose that she kept quiet during the entire 18 hole, and he won the tournament. Oh, isn't that wonderful, dear? And, and honey, he was so grateful that he got the others to vote us in. Is that marvelous? You know something? I think you're going to be a great little golfer. What do you mean, going to be? I am a great golfer. <laughs> All right, dear. Huh? Let's uh, see your swing, great little oh, golfer. Oh, sure. All right. I got the whole thing down now. Let's see now. Um, uh, straight left arm, bend the wrist a little. Relax the hips. <laughs> Keep the right leg stiff. The left one can bend a little. <laughs> Bye. 